I'm here to review the Canon Vixia HF-R300. Now I got this yesterday from Best Buy and I was pretty lucky because it wasn't out yet. Anyway, opening up the box, we have some CDs in the box, a utility transfer CD, and then also the instruction manual in three languages. We also have the instruction manual in three languages as well, the book. Okay, so let's see what else is in there. Okay, so we have the camcorder itself, which is a given. Then we also have the AC adapter, uh, the HDMI cables. We also have the battery pack itself and the USB cables. I think that's all. Oh, no, there's a stylus. I don't know why they call it a stylus. Ooh, so let's take the camcorder out of the plastic and look at that, it's so nice, very handy. It fits in my hand really well because my hands are small, so that's a plus for me. Look at all the stuff it can do, it's pretty awesome. I like the way that the screen can tilt. So you can make it go all the way forward so you can look at yourself. And see, there you go. And then you can make it go backwards. So taking a look at the bottom, you can see all the power information, the tripod mounts, and then also the battery release button. Looking at the front of the camcorder, you can see that it has 32x zoom. And there is a section for the microphone recording. There it is with the shutter open. So you can see how that looked as well. So here's the right hand side of the camera. There's the Canon strap or grip. On the bottom, you can find the charging port and there's the start stop button. The back side of the camera has the battery pack exposed. There's the power button and also the stop start button. The left hand side of the camera doesn't have a whole lot to it. It just reminds you that it has 51 times zoom, HD CMOS, full HD sensor, 1920 by 1080 recording, and intelligent image stabilization. On top, it has the zoom. So the W is for zooming out and the T is for zooming in. Then we have the light, which tells you if the camera is on, off, or charging. Okay, so let's open this up. Okay, so here you have your video snap button, your home button, and then you have the button in which you can press to play your video inside of the camera. And then you have the section where you can stick in your SD card. Now this camera only has one SD port. You can also find the ports. So there's the port for a mic, AV out, HDMI out, and USB. Okay, so let's turn it on. And this is how the screen will look when you turn the camera on. Obviously, I don't have a memory card in there, otherwise I wouldn't see that message. Pressing the home button, this is how our screen will look. We'll have main functions, other settings, camera mode, and standard recording mode. So pressing the main functions button, it takes us to these menus. Recording, Programs, Focus, Powered, Image Stabilization, White Balance, Exposure, and Zoom. And then we have Faders, Mic Level, and Decorations. Going back to the menu, we have Other Settings. And then we have self timers, zoom speed, focus assistance, face detection, 
flicker reduction, fader settings, on-screen markers, windscreen, and microphone attenuator. Then to go into the next menu, we have recording mode, so you can choose that, your frame rate, the snapshot length, and then available space, if I had a memory card. On this other settings menu, we have standard things that you would find in most cameras like language, backlight, mirror image, notification and sounds, which get pretty annoying after a while, power saving mode, time zone, date, time, reset all, just standard functions. In camera mode, we have different functions there, like cinema, which I already have it on, then we got manual where you can take full control and auto. And once again, no memory card. Recording standard mode, you have three options. You have versatile video recording, story creator mode, and okay, sometimes it takes a while to get this right, but then you have MP4 versatile video recording. So as you can see, MP4 is selected at 4 megabits per second at 30 frames per second. Now you can change that by going back into the menu, hitting recording standard again, and then select another one. In this case, I want to shoot in AVC HD mode. And there it is changed. The function button on the screen, we get powered image stabilization, decoration, and zoom on the menu. You click that photo button, it'll just take a picture. So when you get ready to power down the camera, that'll be it. Hope you enjoyed this review. Please don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share. Thank you.